There we go. And it's fallen on Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe. Oh. Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe. So, um, uh, where are we going to go with back, this? Jim. Give the penny back. It's not yours. I'll tell you where we're going to go with this. Big talk that the next port of call for Eddie Howe, once of Bournemouth, is Celtic. Also big talk today. The next port of call for Eddie Howe is the club that you love, Crystal Palace. Because all the talk down here is yep. that Roy Hodgson will be on his way come the end of the season. No disrespect to Roy. And that Eddie Howe could get that job. The question I'll put to you, I've got a rough idea what's coming back. What is a more attractive and ambitious job for Eddie Howe? Celtic or Palace? For the delectation of my media chum, we'll do the compare and contrast. All right? Look, Celtic is a fabulous football club with great history and great size and wonderful support and global recognition. Yeah. In a league that plays broadcaster rights equivalent to a bottle top and a pack of gobstoppers, right? You've got the Premier League where Palace are there eight, nine years. If Eddie Howe is going to go to a Crystal Palace that's going to be supported by the American owners, that's going to be backed and push up and onward like it was once upon a time, then I would suggest the more ambitious move for him is Crystal Palace. If he's not going to be backed, if he's going to be asked to tread water, he's got 11 players out of contract, if Wilfred Zaha's going to go, and they're not going to punch a load of money into that club. Mm. Palace were, team, were deemed, in the late 70s, early 80s, when Terry Venables were there, they were called the team of the 80s. They had an average attendance of 45,000, and they were 42,000, and they were the... They're, they're given the sort of moniker of Man United of the South. They've never built upon it. They've never invested upon it. Ron Nodes came along and used it as a personal cash cow. I had 10 years of giving it my best, and now they've established themselves in the Premier League. Right? The ambitious Crystal Palace, the Crystal Palace that had American owners that want to push and rattle the top 10, get towards the top 6, that were paying £35 million for Christian Benteke, that's a more ambitious move. Not... To be inv not an investable Crystal Palace, then Celtic's a bigger fo football club well, with 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 real history and livery behind it. Investment or no investment? Let's look at the two clubs. Say of today, say yes. of now, say Palace finish where they are at the moment. Say they finish thirteenth. Yep. At the moment, mid table. What's the better job? Palace. So, Palace is the, the better gig than Palace? Celtic. Yes. Yes, Jim. W why would you think it's not? The Premier League. But, but, the Premier League. But what world are you living in? Because the real world. Eddie, Eddie Howe can go up there, wrench the title back if yep. he gets it right yep. from Stephen Gerrard. In but the Scottish as, League. But as well as that, come on, Jim. Can play, uh, can 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 manage Celtic, who of course know their way around Europe. Sure. The only way that Palace know their way around Europe is to go on holiday. Sure. So at the end of the day, because, because the gateway to entry, the gateway to entry is okay. No way, knowing a way around Europe and qualify for European tournaments by the very nature of the league that affords you that. Because there's only two teams in that league that can really qualify. We've heard for all that, that nonsense. So, but, the, but, the, but, it's, bottom, but, hold, but hold, Jim, you may well heard it all, but it happens to be the a bottom fact. line is Eddie Howe would Palace, be joining if the club to, that won the was the first British club to win the, the European 53 Cup. Fifty-three years ago, when so what, Jim? You know, 53 years ago or 54 years ago now, 67, wasn't it? Is 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 no, is no relation to what football looks like now. The reasons why and there's no billionaire, with respect, with, with, with respect to JP and Dermot that own Celtic, there's no Roman Abramovich's or Sheikh Mansour's mm. or, or John Henry's queuing up to buy Scottish clubs, right? Because the Scottish League operates on a level of economics and uh, and actual viability that affords only two clubs an opportunity of any real significance. Look at what it gets. 34 million in broadcast deals. As I said at the top of it, that's equivalent in football terms to a packet of gobstoppers and a yeah, bottle top. But it does not all come down to money. It, it also does. comes down to potential. Football do you is want, all do you about want to coach money. a club with a massive global support, with a 60,000 well, home support, or do you want to coach It's all about Palace, money. It's all about 13th money. It's in all the about, Premier League. It's all about, no chance of Europe. It's all about competing in the best league. Scott Sinclair used to play for Palace. Where did he end up? Celtic. Um, you look at the opportunity that affords you the best way forward. The Premier League is in a country, not even in the same zip code as far as quality to the Scottish, to the Scottish Premier League. Two sides, Rangers and Celtic, are very decent sides. I would hasten to add, or venture to guess, shall we say, that if you put Crystal Palace into the Scottish Premier League, they might have a good chance of winning that league 
and getting into Europe yeah, to follow your logic. You know, that, that. And where would you put rank? Now, hold on. If you're comparing apples with apples and if you're suggesting about the quality of the coach and what he's likely to achieve, why would you want to be a big fish in a tiny little small pond of a runt of a litter league or be a decent manager well, gonna, operating in a big league? If we're going to be theoretical about it, if, if Celtic were to play Palace over two legs home and away at the moment, I'd go with Celtic. Really? Well, Why is that then? I'm sitting with you in the same but, studio. But, it was me who said it. But, but you're deluded, Jim. You say a lot of things. But what does that what does that mean? You, Celtic, are, you, you and everyone well, you else just around said, you. Celtic, if I was Celtic to put Palace really into poor. the Scottish Premier League, yeah. then I think Palace would maybe win it. Do you think? Do so you, I've come you, in with think, my do, own do you little think the Celtic there? side, the Celtic side, would beat Palace? I don't. No, we're in a world of hypothesis. Yes, I think are. Crystal Palace would beat Celtic. I think Celtic are a poor side right now. I think the Scottish Premier League is a poor league. I think Rangers have done very, very well. We're talking about potential, Simon. We're talking potential about history. What? Tell me about the history of Palace. What's the history of Palace? But what's that got to do with the price of cheese? Well, uh, tell, me about about the, history tell me about the history of Preston. Tell me about not history, a lot. Tell me about the history of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Tell Rangers. me about the history of Palace. Tell me about big clubs. That what have... did you ever do in Europe? Nothing. There you go. Right. But what's that got to do with the job now? If so, Eddie Howe so, walks into so the you, you trophy room at Crystal you Palace today, he'll probably see an old picture fan, of you. Yeah, fantastic. If Eddie Howe was to walk into the <laughs> in trophy room at Celtic Park, Kerry Dale Street, in the east end of Glasgow, I doubt this a picture of me there. Time, there see a picture, picture of, of you. Gurning. He'll see a picture, a replica, a picture. He'll see the replica of the European yeah. Cup. And we get the sentiments, right? He'll see... Okay, Jim. The stock market a club. Does the does the business? No, I hear you. One and I think, so many times you I think it's a very it. valid point. Yeah. But do you run in the real time on sentiment or fundamentals? Because ultimately, the fundamentals are Celtic play in a very poor league that generates. I was going to say something else, but I'll say sod all in the way of revenue. So it can't compete really. Right? It doesn't have elite players. It has players that operate at a certain level. To so me, why, Crystal Palace equals treading water. If Celtic, yeah, but you missed massive the, potential. You missed the, what potential of what? Being a big fish in a small pond. Well, what was the last thing they won in Europe? As I've just said, what will Jim, Eddie Howe be brought in for if he goes you, to Celtic? You, get that damn title back from Jared and Rangers take across a, the city. You want to take, get us in the Champions yeah, it's great, League. You're great. You want to take a trip down Amnesia Lane. Right. Palace, what was the last thing Celtic won in 13th. Europe? Yeah, in the biggest league in world football oh yeah you got and, all the money you got all that money and here's the and here's, that money. And here's the qualification right, yeah. just in case you didn't hear it if crystal palace economically back eddie howe that would be a better uh -huh. move than celtic on, if on, they don't to then i can you, understand what why you go parallel celtic. universe are, 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 are you living on because what is there to suggest there's going to be some kind of mindset change in the owners of Crystal Palace but the, today. But that's the question you asked me. They're going like, to invest all this I money. Gave, I gave you a very qualified answer, which is if he goes to Palace and he's backed, I think it's a bigger opportunity in a bigger league to, for him to be able to leverage himself to one of the top jobs, which, is, of course, is the ambition of any forthright manager. If that's not going to be the case with Palace and they're going to sell all their players, Wilfred Zaha's going to go and they're going to tread water, yeah. then why would he go there? He'd go to Celtic because prima facie, for all the reasons that you lay out, lay out, Celtic is a very attractive, alluring proposition. Now, let's look at the Celtic managers and say, with the exception of um, Brendan Rodgers... You're in trouble. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just pausing for a second. With the exception of Brendan Rodgers, how many Celtic managers that have managed them over the last 10 years have gone in an upward direction? Bang. <laughs> what, what about Palace? Quank. No, we're talking about managers, not bloody clubs. Managers. Eddie Howe's not going to pledge Tell his Tell me trust. a Palace manager who's passed through and has gone to it, it, meteoric things. But we're not. We're talking about the Celtic being this wonderful football club that has yeah. huge... Frank De Boer, how did yeah. that go? <laughs> I didn't employ him. What are you looking at me for? Uh, um, if you look at Celtic and focus on Celtic for a second for this part of this conversation, yes. look at the managers they've had. Because yeah. Eddie Howe will be going there. He's an English manager, manager in the Premier League, right? He's going to go into Celtic to manage this wonderful football club for one reason one reason only, because it presents him with a great opportunity. Where is the opportunity going to take him? I love all Is these, Celtic the end game? I love all these people that get in touch here. Nick Squire, Jim Simon Jordan is absolutely rattling you. Nick Squire, uh, uh, Nick, are you an old squash partner of, of Simon Jordan? Squash. I mean, they're, they're, they're all coming in here. Wow. Simon because is really Jim, beating Jim here. Because Jim, absolutely everybody, not. Knows, everybody knows that we have a drivel meter in the studio, right? And you're redlining it. Yeah. Say the, say the people at the top of Palace Dribble meter, change Jim. the mindset. Give Eddie but that's Howe what you so much me. money. Say you they give him all the money. How much will they improve them? How, will they improve them from 13th to maybe 
12th. Well, they were once upon a time, not so long ago, about four or five seasons ago, when Pardew was there, they were inside the top 10, and that was the build pattern. Whoa, wow, hold me back. Yeah, but what are you asking, Jim? The building's moving what, here. You're, you're asking, what inside you are, the what top asking, 10. You're... Eddie, if you take this job, we will help you so get Scot inside so the Scottish, top 10. So Scottish football has set itself a low standard and managed to achieve it. Have you ever been to Celtic Park? To a European night? No, I know it's fabulous because Ray, Hout go. Ray Houghton. You haven't managed to, to get yourself Ray up there. Ray Houghton used to rave about it, and I, I and I am very envious that I haven't been. But that wasn't the question you see. Most of these people twit. Most the of the question said, was, don't lose it at this what stage. Just because your back's against the wall. I'm not. Most of the people getting in touch with their messages I'm have never check. set foot in Scotland. Never mind Celtic Park. I've if been they Scotland. go to a European, I've been Scotland. If they go to it's where good times go to die. If they go to a European match in the East End of Glasgow or to Ibrox for that matter, they would think differently when Eddie Howe well, gets the opportunity individual Eddie games take Celtic but when you get to the, Palace but when you get to the Champions League you're out yeah then, you, well, then, you're, playing, out then, then you're playing against right. then you're playing against runty little teams from back end of Liechtenstein yeah or there, wherever it is there you go um uh, uh, give, give us a shout on this one before we sign off in it I'm very keen to, to get the views of to get discredited uh, again to get the views of, of all used fans on this one 0871722344 say you're ready how today you get the choice of Palace the club that this man ruined uh, sorry used to own or you get the chance of Celtic what should Eddie cheap do? Shots, isn't it? What <laughs> should he shots. do? Is he looking at Europe or is he looking at maybe getting Palace from 13th to 12th? Better to have loved and loved a lot of loved money. Loved at all, Jimbo. 8717 and that was today's The Drop Zone with <laughs> William Hill Vegas.